Are you ready? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready. Okay, because I just um, you know that I've like never I've never owned one. I've never had I've never had one of my my own. Emily. Just, yeah. We we talked about this. I know. It's it's called glitty litter because we're we're glitter, and then it's a funny name, so it's like glitty litter. Okay, but am I like am I like an orange an orange cat or a gray or am I like striped? Emily, the cats don't matter. everyone doing we are so excited to be here tonight we see everyone already chatting up in the chat and we're so excited i'm emily and i'm colleen and this is glitty litter the show where your shit shines and the cats don't matter not really um so glitty litter you might be wondering to yourself what is this show what is going on um so we have been working so hard in this show this is hosted by our indie team Glitter and a few of our friends. And tonight you're gonna be seeing two teams um, playing three games. Um, and they're gonna be playing an accuracy game, a creativity game, and a passion game. So these three, these three games, they're gonna be judged in different ways. So our accuracy game, how many points you get depends on how many questions you get right. Um, creativity, we wanna see how creative our two teams can get. And then passion, we wanna see how much they can get into our game. So on top of just playing games, we're also gonna be scoring them. Uh, we're gonna be scoring them a few different ways. One is from the hosts, me and Emily. We'll just chime in when we have something to say. Uh, one will be from you viewers. So we can see you there in the chats. Uh, yeah, I can see a lot of you down there. And uh, we'll be taking your comments and assigning them points. That's right. Uh, the third is from our judges. We have two very prestigious judges, that's right. Uh, who you'll be meeting in just a second. But before we go there, there's something we want to show you. And that thing we want to show you is called the glitter box. Oh. Hey, ladies. Hey. Good hey. to see you, though. Hey. Hi out there. My name's Caitlin, and I'm super, super excited to be here today. I just first of all want to say hi, Emily. Hi, Colleen. Uh, this has been an absolute blast to plan with you and the rest of Glitter and friends. Um, it has meant a lot to me in quarantine. And we uh, we worked really hard to put on this show to have a lot of fun with some really, really fun people. So we're going to be having a bunch of different contestants throughout the season. And at the end of every episode, they're going to join me, Caitlin, in the Glitter Box. You're going to get in the Glitter Box with me. What does that mean? You got to wait till we get there to find out because it's different every episode. So all of the mayhem and the madness that goes down today, never going to happen again. Only going to happen tonight, one time only. It's going to be amazing memories. Now, before we get there, I am going to, you will hear from me throughout the episode. I will be in the chat. This is me in the chat. I'm, I'm seeking. I'll see you in there. I've already seen some of you in there. It's going to be great. And, uh, and also... This is our, if you haven't followed us on Instagram, we like to have a lot of fun on there. We mm -hmm. have fun every day, all different kinds of fun. And you might see some stuff in the stories during the episode even. Uh, but also you can watch it afterwards, but you can try to figure out what's going on in the glitter box. But until we get there, I've been and will continue to be Caitlin. And I love you guys. Thank you so much, Caitlin. That was amazing. That was awesome. And I personally can't wait to figure out what is going on in the glitter box tonight. Yeah. Um, so as we said before, we have two talented judges with us today. Um, we're going to bring out our first judge. This judge is going to, she's going to judge our um, creativity game today. And you may have seen her in the background of the latest Lifetime movie, um, 
Love on Ice. She was skater number four. Um, she also one time brushed fingertips with Lindsay Lohan mm -hmm. in a bathroom. Um, so let's bring out Jumanji Jones. Oh, hi there. Hi, Jumanji. How are you? Where are you calling in from today? Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm in my Los Angeles home that I share with six roommates, but that's besides the point. Besides the point, yeah. Um, so what are you going to be looking for today from our contestants? Well, you know, you mentioned earlier, I have been a highlighted an extra in several movies. So I'm really looking for our contestants to stand mm. out, even when they don't think they're the center of attention. Oh, good take. Um, what's Can you tell us one story about a celebrity that we just like wouldn't believe? <laughs> of course. So you mentioned that I interacted with Lindsay Lohan. Well, get this, you know, I was an extra in Herbie Fully Loaded. Ever heard of it? <laughs> it wasn't oh, just Lindsay Lohan. It was Justin Long as well. You know, I ran after his car for a good 10 minutes. Juman, that's, that's amazing. I'm just, I'm so happy we have you here to share this wealth of knowledge with our contestants. Um, they're lucky. They're really <laughs> lucky. Uh, I know. <laughs> I think it's time to bring out our second judge. Mm -hmm. uh, you may know him from owning a very famous dog who's appeared in many movies. Also, he uh, he's famously been uh, the farmer grandpa on a number of movies where farm animals die. Bring out Old Country Dan. Whoa, Snickers. Snickers. All right. Thank you. I like, I like to take my horse to, uh, to every show that I go to. I like to keep it authentic. Um, so I just want to let you know where I'm coming from. I'm a real cowboy. I mean, I may be a performer, but I, I ride a horse on the daily. Uh, That's so admirable. Yeah. And I want to thank you too. Country Dan's done a lot of shows. I've done over 1700 shows and that was just last year. No one's ever asked Country Dan for his opinion on, on, on everybody, anyone else's performance. So I just want to thank you too for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I'm going to be doing this between gigs, so I might have to jump out to another gig and then come right back, but it's okay. I got Snickers. He gets me there fast. He's a good horse. I'm sure we won't have any problems with that system, and I'd love to know what advice you have for tonight's contestants. Obviously, you know, you have a lot of people that you've given advice to. You have a lot of pets and animals. What can you tell our four contestants tonight? Well, I'd say, you know, just... Uh, Keep, look, here's something you don't not people don't know about me. When I first started uh, up on stage, I literally did not know how to play an instrument and or sing. But I figured it out as I went. I mean, it's not that hard, folks. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, so I'm just looking for people who believe in themselves. I guess that's that's what I want to see. I want to see people giving it their all and, uh, you know, just giving us a show, being entertaining. That's really heartwarming. Uh Old country. Uh, I just, I love it. Thank you so much. Emily, I think it's time for us to meet our contestants. Yeah. First of all, thank you so much to our judges. It looks like the chat is loving you already. Um, they're asking old country Dan where old yeller is, um, which, you know, where, where I agree. Um, people love this country person already. They're super excited. Um, but what would be a game show without contestants, right? It would just so, we're just going to go right to it. We are so thankful to have these four contestants with us today. Um, so we're going to bring out our first team, Rachel and Robin. Ooh, the sunglass party. Awesome. Hi, guys. How are you guys? Hey, we're good. We're good. We're good. Thank you so much. Thank we're you. Good. Thank, you Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for Rachel. having us. So how do you guys know each other? That's a great question. Um, you know, see, a long, long time ago, uh, Robin and I both attended a college called the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Amherst, mm -hmm. UMass Amherst. for short. Which is silent. And uh, we met there in a little ditty called Mission Improbable. So we've dabbled in the prov before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. oh my God, Rachel, mm -hmm. do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Um, and Robin, we heard that you actually do some virtual improv yourself. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? 
Oh, virtual improv is not for everyone. <laughs> say that. Uh, yes, I do a little bit of virtual improv in New York City in my small, small apartment. Amazing. <laughs> right now, the wind is howling, so it makes the improv that much more exciting. Robin, I love that. We're actually under a wind advisory here in Boston. It's like we're connected. Wow. <laughs> We've got in like we're all in the same part of the country. Oh, <laughs> Heidi Bobidi has actually given you guys a couple names. <laughs> One of them was also team It's Too Bright in here, which mm. I love about that. Um, and then one more question, Rachel. So you're actually our glitter coach. I am. Do, the do you think that's going to give you an advantage tonight? Um, do I think that gives me an advantage? Yeah. I mean, no. We play fair here in the glitty litters mm -hmm. in the glitter box. Mm -hmm. You guys are coaching me right now, so. Yeah. It's true. The cats might not matter, but the points do, am I right? <laughs> they yeah. sure do. They sure do. All right. Well, thank you so much, Team One. We cannot wait to see you in a little bit. Now let's bring out uh, Team Two. We have Hannah and Dylan. Thank you so much for being here. Oh. And my goodness, do you have matching citrus fruit? Yes, we do. We do have matching citrus fruit. Uh, thank you so much for acknowledging, Colleen. We saw we saw the first group um, had matching sunglasses, and we think on our feet. We we work quickly, so just to prove we're the team to beat, we have matching citrus uh, fruits. I can see the crowd is loving it. Obviously, thank you. Thank you. Um, and thinking quickly on your feet is going to get you far uh, tonight. Why don't we start with where are you joining us from? Um, I am joining from uh, South Boston, Massachusetts in the kitchen uh, of my apartment. Wonderful. Yeah. And, and Dylan? I'll be joining you from South Boston in the living room of the same apartment. I can't believe, what a coincidence. This is crazy. So how do you know each other? We didn't plan this. We didn't plan this. We do. We have. We've. We're in a um, very serious relationship, but this is just chance. This is just chance. As were the citrus fruits. So, what a wild I, ride we're already on. I I love this for you guys. I this is going to be great. Um, it sounds like you might have a distinct advantage being uh being just maybe a couple feet apart. So, we shall see. We shall see. And with that, Emily. Why don't we learn a little bit about the first game we'll be playing? Mm -hmm. um, so our first game we're going to be playing is called the Zoomlywood game. So to clarify, this is not a game where we're going to be giving out points. Um, this is just a game for us to get our no to know our contestants a little more. Uh, based on the classic Newlywed game, the Zoomlywood game is going to help us understand our contestants. We're going to be asking four questions, one about each of our contestants, and the contestant and their partners are going to write down their answers. So if the question's about you, you're just going to write down your answer to the question. If the question's about your partner, you're going to write down what you think your partner will say. Um, when we reveal the answers, we'll see how each team did, and so we'll get to know them, and we'll get to see how well they actually know each other. Uh, so let's bring our, our teams back out. Um, Colleen, do you want to give the first question? I would love to. All right, team one. Question, what is Robin's guilty pleasure? Now, team one's going to take a moment to write that down. Uh, just give us a look up when you have completed your answer. And Emily, I mean, guilty pleasures. I, I got to say chocolate cake with chocolate frosting, very specifically. Mmm, that's actually something I dislike. But I would say for me, it's a McDonald's Diet Coke. I love both McDonald's and Diet Coke, but a specific Diet Coke from McDonald's. There is nothing like it, and you cannot argue me out of this. So, <laughs> I thank you, Hannah. Agree. Hannah agrees with me. Here. I won't try. I'm not going to try. Didn't you just, you said a McDonald's Diet Coke. Yep. Dylan, yeah. didn't you just tell me to order you a McDonald's Diet Coke? Yes, I did. They put they have to put liquid sugar in the fountain. It, something is something's up with it. It's truly an electric beverage choice. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take all this information and get myself one one day. Uh, team mm -hmm. one, team one, why don't we find out what your answers are? Robin's guilty pleasure. Or you say, okay. Let's see. Let's say what Rachel. What did you say? Okay. Uh, just I want everyone to be mindful of the fact that Robin and I have been separated for a very long time. This is a great <laughs> reunion, and I just I this is you know the spirit of improv. First thing that came to my head. <laughs> Thinking outside the box, I put Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel obviously thinks very highly of you, Robin. <laughs> Robin. Robin just reads Shakespeare in her in her guiltily. <laughs> Robin was a theater major. I don't know. I'm sorry, Robin. Kill it again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um. So, can I tell you what I put? Please. Yeah. Please. Okay. I, know. I put um teen comedy movies um like to all the boys I've loved. I can't get enough. Oh, like cool. yes, okay. well, like like ten things I hate about you. Very Shakespearean. <laughs> Crush it. We win. We win the game. No, no, no. Don't let me. <laughs> all Go right. Go you mess. <laughs> Uh, amazing. I loved everything about that. Um, also, rlarso 2 in the chat just want to say she has confirmed that McDonald's Diet Coke is the best Diet Coke there is. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to team two. Um, all right, team two. First of all, you guys live together. You're, you're dating, yes? For now. So we're going to yes. see. Yeah, for now, until we see how you guys do with these questions and with tonight. Um, so if Dylan were a tree, would he be a willow, a redwood, or an aspen? Don't mess this up, you guys. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Colleen, well, Colleen, what would you be? Uh, I think I would probably have to go palm. Uh, I mean, I, let me put it this way. I will that wasn't the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> Color outside the lines, man. I wish I were a palm. Realistically, Probably something more like a like a like an oak, mm. like a mm. oak like a classic small, oak, sturdy, like small pine. Yeah, yeah. All right, are you guys you guys got it down, Dylan? I didn't even see you write down. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Dylan, I didn't see you write. Down. Wait, is he is he guessing? Oh yeah, yeah. You have to write talking about down. himself. What do, what does Dylan think that he is? He can just bookmark it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Hannah. What do you think Dylan is? An aspen. Wait, aspen. <laughs> aspen. There it is. Oh my god! It's got ass in it. It's the easiest guess. Well, what I thought because you love winter sports, like in, and snowboarding. So I thought like because of skiing and aspen, but the <laughs> ass part I get too. It's nice. <laughs> That's a good reason. All right, team one you got one more, and you gotta. Hopefully, hopefully you nail this one. If Rachel had to choose an actor to play herself in a movie, who would she choose? It's interesting that neither of us are options, multiple choices, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, also the fact that we don't live in the same house, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A, well, you're writing my ranch. This is a great time to point out that points are really important. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, if you don't win, um, I don't know what to tell you. It's going to be really sad. Yeah. 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 I'm hoping that if we win, Rachel and I will get together, right, Rachel? Yeah. <laughs> Opposite of the other yes, team. And we all are. <laughs> all right. Um, we, we got sorry. While they're coming out with this, Colleen, um, Terry Trojan Water District wants to know: Is a palm a hardwood or a softwood? A palm is definitely. There's no wood in a palm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I thought. And uh, he. Terry Trojan Water District followed up with a uh, Mila Divishkovich, as you recall, yeah, famously that that lady whose last name sounds like that. Mm -hmm. um, that was that was one suggestion. So, Robin, let's see what you picked. Okay, I put Kristen Wiig. Oh, oh, okay. And Rachel, uh, she's right because I put Kristen Wiig. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Whew. Whew. Unexpected. Wow. wow. That was very unexpected. Did it. Wow. And 
we know that we said this was a no points game, but it's Colleen and I's show right now. So we're going to give team one two points for that. Yeah, definitely. definitely for that. So. All right. All right. right. We have Brittany and Tucker around, so team two. All right, Hannah and Dylan. Um, so this is your last question of this game. What is Hannah's catchphrase? <laughs> <laughs> Do the I evil, right the evil laugh makes me think that they both know what this catchphrase is. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. Uh, I said the catchphrase was my ass. <laughs> my ass. Woof. That's you. That's your catchphrase. <laughs> okay. Hannah, right. what is your what is your catchphrase? My catchphrase is Dylan. You're gonna really beat yourself up about this. P potato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain what is a potato, tomato? I don't, I, that I don't know for sure, but I heard it somewhere in the course of my life. And for, you know, anytime anything goes wrong, which has been so much lately, I just say potato, tomato, potato, tomato. Dylan, do I say that? She says that. <laughs> I never going to forget you say that now. Potato, tomato. <laughs> potato, tomato. Potato, tomato. Potato, tomato. So this is a great time to let everyone know we have a game coming up. It is our very first real game. It's the accuracy game. And it is called Character Frenzy. <laughs> character Frenzy is going to have our teams getting into character and guessing what their partner is trying to be, the other person. So one teammate from each team gets blindfolded. The other teammate is shown a series of characters, some straightforward, some kind of specific. Without using the words you see on the screen, you must become that character and get your blindfolded teammate to guess what you are. We'll take turns between the two teams. So team one gets the first slide, team second gets the second, and back and forth. If you get the answer right, the answer right, the next slide. If you take too long to get to the right answer, we are gonna have to buzz you off. And how long do you get? We don't know that's going to change every time, but here's how you'll know. Yeah, that's when we move on. Uh, so it's an accuracy game. Every correct answer will get you a point. However, if our viewers like your valiant efforts, let us know in the chat, and we may be shouting out to give you some bonus points. So let's bring our team back on. Yep, and blindfolded players, put on your blindfolds. <laughs> oh, yes. Excellent-looking blindfolds. Thank you. So cozy. Okay, team one, you are going to be first. Get ready. Okay, team one, go. Um, come on, uh, uh, he Helen Henderson, uh, Josie, you're all in the same bunk. Come on, we're going to go play water polo and uh, get those temp tattoos. It's going to be a fun summer. Um, a stressed out um, sports mom? <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, uh, Cindy, uh, Thomas, Caroline, tonight at the campfire, you're doing a skit. You're, a, you're, you're, a, you're a, an enthusiastic camp counselor. All right, team two. Next slide. <laughs> a beautiful little bird. Oh, and a little mouse. You are Snow White? Yes, but, but, yes, yes. Um, uh, but a little mouse is there as well, and uh, my stepsisters. And, and oh, I've you're Cinderella. Save, I've come to save you because I'm also a, uh, one of these. And I'm very valiant. Very, very valiant. I'm a wonderful singing one of these in the movie. You are. Some fucking Disney character. Okay, team one. Can we swear on this show? They didn't ask that before. Uh, oh, uh, oh we are, we, unfortunately, we are back to team one. 
Uh, hey, uh, Caroline, um, I, I saw you came home kind of late last night, and uh, then I saw your phone. Uh, your phone was buzzing a bunch, and I, I opened it because it was in front of me. A concerned and boyfriend. Uh, that's right, team two. Next slide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw wine on you, Tamara. If you don't, if you don't give my cat a velour suit, uh, you're a real housewife of sorts. That's correct. Back to Team One. Okay, folks, we got two wonderful people coming up today. We got uh, Caroline and we got Josh. Now, uh, Caroline and Josh are gonna make it for love. We're gonna find out in about oh, five you're minutes. A, you're, this, a, uh, you're a host of a love game show. Correct, on to team two. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Tommy, I swear to God, Tommy, I swear to God, if you do not, if yeah, I'm not giving you mine. It's fall, it's getting, it's it's not warm anymore, Tommy. You're a mom making your kid wear a sweatshirt. I'm gonna give him that, that team one. <laughs> um, okay, well, I, it's like, we just don't have small drinks here. Um, we have tall drinks. So when you said small, I got confused. Oh, and so you're a obviously, barista. Um, yeah, a little bit, but I'm also just like, it's just, I've had a really hard day because my mom called me earlier and said, I can't come, um, to the dance recital because apparently I'm not spirited enough. Um, and so now You're an emotional intern <laughs> at a barista job. Yeah, and and so the thing is that um, you can have this tall drink, um, which is what we say at this specific kind of place. You're a Starbucks. All right, <laughs> correct me too. Uh, uh, hey, hey. I'll tell you a couple of things. First of all, this is going to be about seven hundred dollars for this part, and this other part is fourteen hundred. And it's You're got the mechanic who I talked to to get my car fixed. Yeah, but yeah, and it, but here's the thing: I, I, that's accurate. I just, it's like, you know, there's. I got my son's Tommy, and then I got the youngest one who's not my son, uh, and I just do everything for for. Stepdad auto mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got. I, I I gotta make this money so I can bring it to my I got you got you know in every man's life there comes a time when he's gotta divorce dad just just muscle up and take care of the young one with the long the long one long braid in their hair <laughs> precious child of mine that's not my son <laughs> your stepdad is rat tail son. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you other than um, I just want it, it, that. I, I'm sorry, team one. We have to go to the next slide. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, Jimmy. Um, ever since Thanksgiving, when we met under that, that um, gas station decoration, I just felt like we had a connection and I knew that I wanted to bring you home for this special day with my family. You're a contestant on The Bachelorette or The Bachelor <laughs> on ABC. And you know, I love this holiday and for me, it's like, all I want is you. And Someone on Hinge who's also <laughs> unhappy. <laughs> And I guess, um, you know, every time my family's like, you're so single, you're so single, who are you going to bring home for the ooh, holidays? Ooh, and finally... Character in a Netflix holiday romance film. I got to give it to her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess you can have some holy water. Surly priest? <laughs> I... um. I think I'm surly, but my mom says I'm not. <laughs> I guess I could take your confession as long as you don't say anything 
bad. Um, Catholic priest with questionable motives. Could I be any more of a priest? Oh, wait. <laughs> Could I be any more of the thing? You're that fucking guy from Friends being a priest. <laughs> Oh, man, you are good at this game, Dylan. <laughs> You're so good at it. Doing great. You're doing a, a good job at this game. You are doing great, Dylan. Back to team one. <laughs> okay, uh, when I blow my whistle, everybody get in down. Dog! Oh, it's a it's a football coach turned yoga instructor. Right, make sure you don't you don't have the barrel of your gun pointed at your partner. All right, we're doing we're doing big deep breathing today, and we're gonna make sure that we're in line and we're 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 getting our rations. You're you're in you're, you're like an ex army instructor just teaching a class at the Y. Uh, yeah, and we're working on specific things like uh, downward dog no, and yoga. Cat pose. You're doing yoga at the Y because you used to be in the army. Uh, yeah. Gotta give it to you, team two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these kids and my, my giant shoes. I am over it. I am over it. I am telling you right now. If I have to put on this red nose one more day, <laughs> juggle these balls. You are a surly clown. Give it to you, team one. <laughs> or that might be the end. Do we have another slide for team one or is that the conclusion? I think that's the conclusion of our game. Amazing. Okay. You guys, whoa. Very impressive. I'm very impressed. Uh, this was super fun. Um, and so uh, I think it's time to bring out Emily with our scores. Yeah. Um, so before we get to our actual scores, right. I am going to give out some of my own bonus points. We're going to go to what the chat said. We're going to give out some of those bonus points. Um, so first of all, I'm going to give out a point to Rachel saying it was an unhappy person on Hinge. Um, mm. That's me. I am the unhappy person on Hinge. I'm also going to give out five points to Dylan because for those at home, Dylan is not an improviser. He's the only not improviser here tonight. And he got so close to every answer just not on the dot. So I'm giving out five points. Colleen, I don't know if you want to give out any more points for anything you heard. Oh, I mean, my goodness. Uh, I'm going to give out uh, 15 points to Hannah for just killing it with uh, with the saddest clown, the saddest effing clown I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, Robin, I, I feel like I need to give you 20 points. And those 20 points are coming in for a lot of things, but uh, most of all for that original camp counselor where I could just really feel the stressed out, sweaty energy. And like, you just wanted camp to end and go like, you know, bang your boyfriend or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Camp stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did that back actually. You know, uh, camp stuff. Um, yeah. I think we've got a lot of points to deal with here. Yeah. And Before then um, from the chat, Team two, Helen, uh, Hannah and Dylan, I just called you guys Helen, and that's what I'm gonna call you for the rest of time. Um, Hannah and Dylan, Hannah, people went crazy over your townie persona, your dude impression. They loved it. And so you're gonna get another another seven points. Seven points, I don't know. Thank you. Um, the and then, <laughs> it's, Dylan has a character in it. It's time. a memia said, just flip a table during The Real Housewives. Mm. And I just I I loved that that we love the Real Housewives in the chat. Um, mm. So I don't even remember what team did the Real Housewives. Which which team? Oh, that was you. Another two points to two two. Um, and I I think oh no 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 one more. I did have one more. Loaf the Wonder Bread again. Just loved Hannah. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah killed it with the chat. So Hannah's gonna get another two points from the chat. You're all very um, 
Yeah. So ooh, a score update. May I, right. Emily, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Before you give a score update, may yeah. I just say something quickly? Uh, I noticed a lot of people were commenting um, F's for respect uh, for Dylan. <laughs> I just want to be clear. Uh, I was really trying to convey sarcastic and sometimes you have to be heavy handed. I think he's doing a wonderful job. I, I, I know it seems like I came down hard. I just had to get that out. I don't. Um, I had literally no idea what the F's meant, which is why I ignored them. Um, so thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> thank you all. And thank you, Dylan. Um, so, I, I, I am seeing a lot of our um, of our allegedly sus score system. Uh, just you wait, it gets better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, scoring's going on while we're while we're saying it. Uh, so right now we have team one at twenty nine points. Okay. Team two, you're at thirty five. Okay. I feel like this is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, yeah. we're not doing this again. Not here. <laughs> you, not still here. Have, you still have two more games and something at I the end with here. Caitlin. Oh, I've got to, we're clocking a lot here. Um, so, so speaking of getting more points, uh, we've got a second game for you guys to play, Emily. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so our second game is tonight is called Pitch It. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, so we here at Glitter Litter are trying to start our own marketing firm, as you can see from that video. Um, and we're looking for new products to promote. Uh, we're going to give our teams a product or service that currently does not exist. And then off stage, you guys are going to chat. You guys are going to come up with a pitch for us about how you want to sell this product or service. Um, this pitch is going to include what you think the first international commercial would look like, what celebrity you want to endorse this pitch, a slogan or a jingle, whatever you guys come up with, um, and then just overall, just a pitch. Just really give it to us. Um, Colleen, you want to remind them what kind of game this is? So this is a creativity game. We are looking for you to think outside of the Zoom box uh, and get creative. After we hear both pitches, we're gonna bring out Judge Jumanji Jones to give our teams a score. And as always, uh, chatters, viewers, readers, at home, if you like what you hear, let us know in the chat and we will be giving out uh, very, very sus bonus points. <laughs> sus is the word. Um, and so our, our suggestion for Pitch It Tonight actually comes from our Instagram, which is glitter underscore improv. And it comes from Heidi, Bo Heidi Bobidey on Instagram. Um, so thank you so much, Heidi. Um, if you guys want to give us suggestions for future shows, check out our Instagram. We will be asking questions and you guys can help us come up with suggestions for, super, uh, for um, future shows. So our suggestion today is professional hair detangling. So whatever that means to you, we want to hear your pitch. We're not going to tell you what exactly it is, whatever it means to you. So we're going to send our contestants off stage so they can chat. All right. So now that we've got them off and doing some work, uh, let's check in again with the glitter box. Caitlin? Hi, Caitlin. Ka Caitlin, are you Caitlin? Are you okay? Hey, everybody! I, <laughs> what's going on? I was totally ready for this. I'm just hanging <laughs> out in the glitter box. <laughs> we love it. We love the chaos of it. <laughs> How is it going over there? <laughs> it's going really well. I need my cameraman to back up a little bit so that you can see. I really got like a whole a whole workstation going on over here. It's 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 there's breaking news all the time. You don't realize the research and the and the it, you know the investigations that I have to do to set up the glitter box and everything. I gotta have you know my news central all set up. 
You're like the Steve Bernacki of Glitterbox. Oh yeah, you don't even know what kinds of things are gonna happen in the in the glitter. I'm I'm getting hacked. The Glitterbox is getting hacked. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, it's, well, Caitlin. Yeah. Uh, you gotta matrix them back and solve this because we really need you at the end of the show um, oh. for your big surprise. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to sloop right into the internet real quick, Matrix style, and I'm going to mm -hmm. fix it. I'm going to fix it, and then I'm going to sloop right back right here. I'm so excited for the glitter box. I'm so excited. Sloop on in there. We'll be keeping an eye out for you on our internet. Awesome. All right. Um, so while our teams are still chatting, we're going to bring Jumanji Jones back on with us so we can chat with her a little bit. Wasn't that embarrassing? Which part? Uh, every part of it, Emily. I mean, the glitter box should always be ready to shine. Oh, Jumanji, right. I, you are a perfect, you are a consummate professional. I've heard famously <laughs> on many of your extra roles, you're, mm -hmm. you're always ready and you know everyone's lines. And I know the chat is really trying to ship that couple. I believe they're called Team Two. But let me tell you, I tried to shit myself with Charlie Sheen in Scary Movie 5, and he just told me to get out of the bathroom. So it doesn't always work out that way. Oh, God. Uh, well, I feel like you have such a depth of wisdom. Is there anything our contestants should be ready for from you when you're, like, evaluating what they're bringing to the table? Mm. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You know, it's just, it's an unspoken quality, Colleen. It's hard to say, and you know, you might, you might think, wow, Jumanji Jones, what kind of judge is she? But if you say that, I mean, you've never been to Hollywood, have you? I you have never make, been you make, to point. you make excellent points. Thank you, uh, I always do. Judge Jones, I'm, I'm looking forward to your, to your uh, drugstore fragrance line. Thank you. Have you yeah. seen me in that commercial? I play, I play the woman in the park, like about 20 feet behind Lindsay Lohan. Right, and you're mouthing her lines. I, I thought it was, uh, you were really noticeable. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. You're, you're so welcome, Judge Jones. We're gonna take you off and bring out, I think at this point, team one. Team one, is your pitch ready? If it's not, oh. sorry, here we are. <laughs> So, hey, yeah, totally. Um, sorry, we were just getting our our um our 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 you know poster board set up and everything. Okay, all right, awesome. for having us. All right, so Colleen and I are here. We're here to listen. We're mm -hmm. not judgmental. We don't we don't judge. Um, so why don't you guys just give us a pitch? Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Coming to you live in three, two, one. Kick it off, Robin. Do you ever feel like a cat? Meow. Well, maybe that's because you kind of are a cat. And the reason you're a cat is because of your hair. You Meow. got eyeballs all in your hair. <laughs> you're trying to figure out what you're going to do with that? Hey, let me tell you something. Cat got your tongue? No. That's your hair. <laughs> Hashtag detangle it. See, my name is uh, Rachel, and this is my partner, Robin, and we're here to sell you some professional detangling service. This is mm -hmm. the professional trademarked detangling, pr trademarked service, okay? Mm -hmm. Trademarked big time. <laughs> you got big tangles, and we got big trademarks, okay? Mm -hmm. And we want to solve that issue, okay? So picture this, picture this. Like you just saw me, I was a cat. You didn't know I was a human for a second, right? That was Rachel playing a cat. Can you believe that was me. So we're thinking for this commercial, it's mm. it's still gonna be me as a cat uh, showing off my tangles, okay? Because everyone knows sometimes you don't want to recognize them on your own head, okay? We just don't. We we ignore. We are in mm. denial, right? But on your cat, you see it all the time, and you're brushing those tangles out, mm. and you and you and you thinking to yourself, man, I wish I could detangle this. Yeah, and another thing that that Rachel uh, was gonna mention is is not only is she going to be a cat, Susan Sarandon's going to be there, and that's going to be her cat. Come on. Because everyone loves Susan Sarandon from Rocky Horror Picture Show, 
We're waiting for her to make her come back. Yes. We mm-hmm. love her. We trust her. She she's had tangles. We've all had yep. the tangles. Okay, so yep. she knows, right? And Susan, yeah. Susan's big trademark for us. And we we did all the contracts. We're legally all set. Yeah, and so and we're going to have her come in at the end of the commercial after I turn back into a human mm-hmm. and give this little pitch like we're giving you here. And uh, and then, you know, Robin, we're both, uh, with Susan Sarandon, going to say mm-hmm. our, our, our tagline uh, yep. or our slogan, if you will, together, uh, yep. which is, uh, you said, really, really in a certain um, uh, rhythm. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, three, two, two one. one. Detangle. Detangle. And delighted. And it delighted. And detangle, delighted. And then yeah. I turn back into a cat and I have a thumbs up. And then Susan Sarandon yeah. lifts me in, and cuddles me and walks away. And our hair is flowing in the wind. Mm-hmm. And we just have kind of like hair balls, just like that sound when the wind is just like. Yes. So um, we'll take any questions you have. <laughs> Not that there will be any, but. I. I mean, what can I possibly say? Emily, I feel like uh, there's so much to say and we can talk about it now or we can hold on to our thoughts. What do you think? Let's, let's talk about it now because there's a lot of action going on in the chat and I don't I don't want to miss it. The chat loved it. The chat is sold. Thank you. They Thank you. want it so bad. Cats. Um, first of all, Sadie Lee MCN thinks Robin's hilarious. She just... She thinks she's hilarious in general. Um, so Robin, that gets you like, that gets you two points right there. Oh, like, just oh, someone thinking you're funny. Thank also, you. Thank you. Loaf the Wonder Bread made a good point that Team Two does get more time to prepare their pitch, which is sus. Right, right. So right. We're actually gonna, we're gonna take we're gonna take away right. three, we're gonna take away three points from yeah. Team Two because of that. You yeah. can take points um, away. We're gonna we're gonna start down. Um, <laughs> Robert Robert Don also. Said um, amazing face moves about Rachel, which we all know is our favorite yeah. thing about Rachel. Famous. Um, so we'll give her we'll give her five points, right, Colleen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's um, cool. And then, oh, go ahead. I want to chime in with a few points. I think yeah. it's lovely that you're helping out a young, struggling actress, Susan mm-hmm. Sarandon, in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Obviously, needs a lot of help. Needs a lot of help. Love to see a leg up for her. Uh, we only yeah. wish her the best. Maybe she'll. Maybe we'll see her again one day. Yeah, we'll see her again. Yeah. And then I'm going to chime in with, with three points just for the cat theme. Yeah. You yeah. guys knew. We you know knew. our audience, okay? Yeah. We, know our audience. Audience. we know our audience. I just want to point out that the cats don't matter. That it, that they don't matter. They right. don't matter. But in this case, they'll get you three points. So um, so we're going to hold off until Team 2 goes to, to meet with Judge Jones. So why don't we bring out Team 2? and see their pitch. They've had a lot more time, so they better be blowing us Mm -hmm. away. We'll get ready to get blown away. Uh, Dylan is gonna, gonna, we named our product is what we did. So Dylan, if you wanna share what that is. So we are leading off with our spray, the defrizz shiz. Mm -hmm. The defrizz shiz, Um, so picture it, picture it. We've got a commercial. Uh, we see a tower. We see mm-hmm. the back of Rapunzel, but her hair mm-hmm. isn't, it's not luxurious. It's not down. It's just one, it's tangled in a ball. So no one can no. can climb it. So no one can climb it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we see uh, a man in armor ride in on a horse, but it's not a man at all. It's a bottle of defrishes. And he's in full armor and he's riding in on the horse. And then uh, he gets to the tower and he flies off the horse. And we pan to a screen where it's just the winged defrishes uh, uh, in the air, and it's and it sparks and it's glitter and it's fireworks. It's fireworks. It's fireworks. And then you hear our song, which is perfect and wonderful. And we're gonna go right now, which is you gotta be the mango in your tail. And then then Rapunzel turns around and it's It's none other than Fran Drescher. It was Fran Drescher the whole time, which is why we did the the line from the nanny at the, you guys get that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Yep. Um, So that's, so that's, and she does maybe like a smile. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then and then that's and then we just see the bottle and they're just happily riding off i think is how it ends you've already bought it at that point you've already bought it it's yeah. your Sorry. it's still it's already in my cart. yeah, yeah. Um, so. this is sounding amazing you guys uh Obviously, the chat has a lot to say. Um, they they think uh, they think the name Defridge is is uh, I think excellent. That's that's why the ha 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 has went with it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they take a, they they're into the name. They're digging it. Loaf the wonder bread is sold. To to uh, butt in a little bit. Heidi Bobidi loves the name, and if you remember, she gave us this gave suggestion. Us the, the suggestion. So. If yeah. she loves it, you guys are you guys are doing well. You're doing really well. That's, that's so that's, wonderful. That's seven, yeah, that's, that's that's historically seven points if you impress the person who yep. gave the suggestion. Yeah, um, so it's an extra seven for you guys. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Fran Drescher call out gets you um, thirteen points. Famously, Fran Drescher has um, thirteen outfits with her at all times. That's why thirteen points. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Awesome. Yeah. And I just am going to give you just one point because I love that you went with a jingle and not a slogan. Just pulling yeah, at my yeah, own. Yeah. My yeah. Own and we, so. that was because that we have not even, that was a mind meld. We're not even in the same. It's house. not like you guys are in the same place. No. I'm going to bring out Manji Jones and see what she has to say. She's very, she's very experienced. So let's see what she thinks about this. Just oh, Manji, you're on mute. I said thank you, Colleen. My apologies. No problem. So, so Judge Jones, why don't we hear uh, you? Uh, you can give feedback on Team Two, and then we'll bring one back on out. So, let's talk about Team Two. What do you think? Well, Fran Drescher is an American hero. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, she's everything an actress should be, and for that, I want to give high points. But I also have to be honest with myself. I'm not much of a musicals gal, unless you're the critically acclaimed Freaky Friday. So I'm going to have to give Team Two mm, three points out of five, of course. Wow, wow. Okay, that was a very, that's a that's a telling score. That's telling us something. Um, okay, Judge Jones, I'm going to have you now. We're going to take Team Two out, bring right. Team One back in. All right, Judge Jones, give him some truth. What, what's your course? Well, I like the sunglasses. I, I consider it kind of an homage to me, you know, mm. if I'm being honest. And I really liked the specificity uh, and creativity uh, of your whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a five out of five. Oh, the other team so was sus, too. I hear you in the comments. I do. Mm. Mm, okay, so we've got we've got some scores. We've got a lot of scores uh, jumping around. Uh, Emily, do we have a, a score total update? Uh, yes, we do. So our score total at the current moment, um, we have team two ahead okay. with 56 points. 56 points. Um, team one, they're behind, but anything can happen. They have 44 points. Okay. Right. As we come into our last official game of the night, which is objection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so welcome to the Glitty Litter courtroom. In objection, our teams are going to be having a debate over an issue. Um, each team are going to each team is going to be on opposite sides of this issue. Um, and when they they're gonna give us their argument about why they think their side is the correct one um when a contestant wants to say their piece they can interrupt their other team by just saying objection colleen and i will then decide if we want to sustain or overrule that objection if we sustain they can keep talking if we overrule they have to go back to the sidelines and the person who was talking before will keep talking in their place now remember this is a game of passion so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if your argument makes sense. It's just that you need to be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. After a few minutes, our debate will conclude and we'll bring out all country Dan, uh, who will score the teams based on how passionate their arguments were. As always, viewers, if you see something you like, let us know in the comments. Uh, and we will be taking those into account. So now let's bring out old country Dan and hear his thoughts on tonight's game. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, easy Snickers. All right. Yeah, uh, passion, folks. Um, what's what? What does passion mean to me? Uh, passion, you, you know, passion's a, a marriage that's got potential to make it past six months. Uh, passion is what my uncle Charlie, God rest his soul, felt for Rocky Road, Rocky Road ice cream, and that that was the passion that killed him. Oh, oh. Well, it's okay. He he died. Doing what he loved, he was he was eating Rocky Road ice cream, and then he he wanted to get that last little bit out of the carton, and he just he got his face in there, and it just he couldn't. I think he had a brain freeze because he couldn't get it off. And I I mean I want to think he died doing what he loved, except for that maybe last thirty seconds or however long it takes you to suffocate or oh, drown in Rocky Road. Oh, country, but, yeah, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. It's thank okay. You. He was a good man, and he loved. He did what he loved. That's right, thank you. morning. Uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, so now we're going to bring out. Uh, actually, I'm going to tell you our suggestions, team. Yes, teams. All teams out. Uh, our suggestion for tonight comes from Alexandria Copeland via Instagram. Thank you, Alexandria. Uh, contestants, tonight the four of you will be debating on whether an Irish exit is an appropriate way to leave a party. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar or don't know, a party was a gathering of people we did in the before times where we mm -hmm. shared oxygen and food. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. An Irish exit is also known as ghosting, leaving without saying goodbye. Uh, team one, you are yes, do that. Team two, you are no, don't do that. Um, we're gonna kick it off with team one. Uh, so Rachel and Robin, uh, Rachel or Robin, let's hear and please remember, you just jump in basically whenever you want and you can yell object. Okay, listen, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna play games. Mm -hmm. I just wanna I wanna kick it right off. It is absolutely appropriate to Irish exit from a party. Think about mm -hmm. all that you have to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If you do not, right, Robin? Mm -hmm. Tell mm -hmm. them. So many things that you sacrifice. You know, I'm, we're not playing games here. There's no games. Obje okay. Objection. Oh, is that allowed? Uh, mm -hmm. Basis. Objection to that? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your point? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. You want to talk about sacrifice? I made a full tray of Totino's pizza rolls, and I turn around, and you're gone? You're out the door? You think I'm going to eat a whole tray of Totino's with myself and two other guests? Because you're obviously the fourth, and we objection. prepared for four. Uh, okay, Rachel, I'll hear it. What's the basis of the objection? I want to I wanna respond to the Totino's pizza rolls. <laughs> I'll try to allow it sustained. Listen. Hannah B, mm -hmm. if you have a- If that phone, is really your name. <laughs> uh, there is so much that could be said, right? You can't mm -hmm. even begin to describe in a single party, a single night of an event, what to respond to you with a, a tray of Totinos. Mm -hmm. If I took the time, we the party would never end. It's better to get out mm -hmm. and schedule time mm -hmm. later. Do just mm -hmm. leave just leave it hanging and we will deal with it when we are ready, how we are ready, and we will say our goodbyes. I don't want to say goodbye. How about that? I don't want to say goodbye. I want to leave the party when I'm having the best time ever. End on a high note. Yes. Objection. I'll hear it. If you if you are eating Totino's pizza rolls, that's the highest note. That's the highest Objection. note. Objection. So you leave before that. You're in a regular, maybe you think you're on a high note, but you can go higher, and that is a Totino's. If you've been to a party that I host or that Dylan hosts, you would know that. Council, I'm okay. here, Robin. Obje I want. I have three objections to that. First one, <laughs> the only parties you go to, Hannah B, have to do with Tostino's. I don't even know what a Tostino is. You never invited me to your party, second of all, so I'm already offended. And you know what? You know what? I know we're right. Because when I leave a party and I didn't have to do these weepy goodbyes and these big hugs and stuff, guess what? I get more sleep. I get more sleep. It's for I, your health. Mm -hmm. It's for your health. Mm -hmm. I have an objection. Uh, and then um, I'm gonna and then I'm gonna let Dylan explain what a Totino's pizza roll is. Uh, and my uh, objection yeah. is that yeah, Hannah B is my real name, first of all. Second of all, I'm already weeping because I cry all the time. So spare me, spare me that it's just when goodbyes happen because I'm already crying. Let me promise you that. 
Thirdly, if you don't know what a Tortino is, how do you understand the concept of, of love? Dylan, go tell them, please. Oh. Listen, <laughs> you think you're leaving the party on your own terms, you're walking out quietly, but is it even a party if you haven't burnt your mouth on a Totino's pizza roll with your food and with your bros? Rachel, I'll- And I'll, are you I'll, even I'll, really leaving? Uh, this is uh, the fellas in here. Are you really leaving if you haven't softly kissed your brother <laughs> on the lips? God, I can't, I'm gonna hear that Council, I'm gonna stop you and hear that objection from uh, Rachel. If we're gonna bring up mouth burning, I feel like that is a very personal, personal injury that we shouldn't subject to the rest of the party and bring down the energy. I want to go. I want to leave the party and feel my own burn. It might take an hour to heal. I might need to go soften it with some milk. And I don't want you to see that because I'm protecting you and I care about you, Dylan. Jesus. <laughs> I think we're getting off the, the topic, okay? We're trying to exit and we're talking about Tostinos, okay? Yes. Eat your dinner at home, folks. Go to the party. <laughs> leave the party when you want to leave the party. Uh, Council, I'll hear it. It's pronounced Totinos. Oh, what no the no Totinos. No okay, we're going to come to a conclusion. We're going to give each team a chance to give us their final argument. Um, so, Team Two, let's actually start with you guys. Yeah, Team Two, we're going to hear your closing statement. Um, here's my closing statement that I think Dylan shares, but you're going to contribute the second half of it, which is if you don't taste Totino's, you don't know love and, and you haven't hit the best part of the party and you, and it makes, it breaks my heart that you don't get to enjoy that. And then the other thing is that Rachel said she burned her mouth and if you can't share love and you can't share pain and you can't share Totinos, what are we even doing here? Dylan? I just want to say that this could have very easily been a bagel bite situation and just subpar in every way whatsoever. But we're a Totino family in this household. We would have had Totinos at this hypothetical party. You would have burnt your mouth on them and you would have thought, I shouldn't leave without saying goodbye. Yeah. Thank you, team. Okay. All right, now we're going to take closing statements, team one. <laughs> that says it all. That says it all. <laughs> they really left it all on the floor. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much to our teams. That was amazing. I don't know if Team One will come back. Um, well, I, we've got them. Uh, yeah, that's. I've never seen wow. a legal team do that before in furtherance of their argument, but it, it left an impression on me. Yeah, it did. I'm upset. I'm disrespected. <laughs> but they did win. <laughs> they, they did. They did um, yeah. So I know I'm personally giving out 10 points to team one for that coordinated, that coordinated exit right there. Right. right. That was really important. And, and just to, just to go back, why don't we bring out just old country Dan mm -hmm. to walk tours with us? Cause we got a lot to cover here. Uh, wow, folks, that was amazing. Uh, I'm glad I want to thank you for clearing up the Tostinos and to Tone T. They're two vastly different things. I still can't say them right. I get the confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as points go, let's see here. Uh, team one, uh, I got to tell you, they were real passionate. And Dylan, he he had those like dark smoldering eyes. He was looking mm -hmm. at me the whole time. And I was like, he's going to just explode in mm -hmm. my face like a hot toad Tino. And he did. Mm -hmm. He brought up some great points. And uh, I thought that he did an excellent job. Uh, I'm going to give them. That's a solid, that's a four to me. That's a four in my book. Um, uh, and then team two, you know, what can you say? That, whew, I mean, I, it, but the, you know, it felt, I don't know if they were going for this, but the Blues Brothers, that's my, that's my number two favorite movie of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, obviously Roadhouse. Um, but they, I mean, they Blues Brothers, they put the glass, come on, man. It's essentially, a mic drop. I, I don't know what to call it, but it was genius. I'm giving it a five. That was beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. I, I got to chime in, Dan. I, I got to say, you know, the crowd was loving it. Both 
both uh, both teams, which I think you may have uh, switched. Uh, oh. Team one, who famously made an exit without a closing argument, uh, and then team two, oh. Nara Tostino's uh, to Tost. Now you've got me saying I'm not good with numbers. I'm sorry. Tostino's family. Uh, so I I'm going to have to say go out on the limb here and say 40 points uh, to both uh, because that was a uh, that was an impressive showing. Um, mm. Old Country Dan, I just got to ask. We have some folks in the audience who need to know if you are single. This week I am. We'll see. Uh, you know, my love life goes up and down a lot. That's, uh, that's how I get a lot of my inspiration. Clocking but, uh, it. Yeah. Clocking it, Old Country. Um, so knowing that, we're going to take a minute to check in on the scores, unless Emily has mm -hmm. any uh, from the crowd to add. I I, I don't. I think our, our chat during that, they loved every single thing about it. Um, they said that was baller. They all agreed team one won the debate by just leaving. Um, that was brilliant of them. Um, what they just, they said some, who someone said something about a fart and it made me laugh so hard. Um, they think that your brother does deserve a soft kiss on the lips goodbye, which was Dylan's point. Uh, no points to Dylan for, for that uh, very important realization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I think we can, we can go ahead and we're going to announce our current scoreboard um, before we get to our final segment of the night, which is the glitter box. Mm -hmm. So currently our scores are so, so close. Um, so in first place is currently team two, which is Hannah and Dylan, and they have 100 points. Team one, however, has 99. So You're we me. are only a point apart um, okay. as we go into our final segment of the night, which is the glitter box. Let's bring everyone, well, let's check in with the glitter box and then we will all join Caitlin there. What's up, everybody? Now, as you can see, I am finally in the glitter box and you're in here with me. That's right. It's Celebrity Meatball Racing Live. <sighs> what do you guys think? I'm in. I am so right. in. So I don't before, know what I mean. Before we really get into this, uh, and I am just, I'm just so excited for you all to be here at Meatball Ra Celebrity Meatball Racing Live. We have the best of the best meatballs here. You're, these are famous meatballs. You are going to know these meatballs. Before we get into it, I need the teams to bet on the points right now. Do it right. now before you know what's going down. Do it now. All right, so so teams, you guys are gonna wager some of your points in the glitter box tonight. Um, you have to wager at least at least one. Since you all have so many, I would suggest more than that. Um, so you're gonna wager your points, and you're you don't really know what you're wagering on yet, but you're gonna choose right now how many you want to wager. So uh, team two, let's start with you because you guys are in the lead. You have a hundred points to wager. Dylan, I'm giving it to you. Still a 17. Oh, 17. <laughs> All right, team one, what are you wagering? I think we're going to go with uh, 13 for uh, 13. class of 2013. UMass. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. You were you All right. right. Okay, so we've got some points on the line, Caitlin. Okay. All right. Here's where here's here's where it ha here's where it all happens, folks. So we're gonna meet six of the top meatballs out there. Six of the most famous meatballs out there. You're gonna get some stats about these meatballs, and then you're gonna actually get to meet these meatballs. You're gonna meet these balls, <laughs> and you're gonna each get to ask our celebrities. Uh, a question. One of you each get one question, just the contestants uh, for time's sake. And you're going to want to know as much as you can about these celebrity meatballs because anything can happen in the glitter box, folks. Anything can happen. Uh, <laughs> so you want to know these meatballs as much as you can because there's a lot riding up. Well, there's some points riding on it. So here we go. First up, hold on. We got. Bam. Mm. Cloudy with the chance of meatballs. I told you you would know these meatballs. Hold on. All right. Here we here we go. What do you think of my stats? <laughs> what do you think of them? You can see them all? Look at that's me. All right. Dylan, what you want to ask me? 
How long did it take you to grow that? Oh, uh, my nose. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you, cameraman. Uh, it did take me, uh, the gestation cycle of a meatball is 47 weeks. So it took me that long to grow a little nose. All right. Uh, let's go with Robin. What y'all all ask me? Uh, how do you know uh, that you're made of beef? <laughs> oh, every meatball knows the contents of his ball. Every meatball knows how it gets you protein. Every meatball knows this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm all beef. Check, check out my stats again. You can see them. These are real. These are real stats about me. Uh, all right, let's go with Hannah. What you want to ask me? Um, I hope this isn't too personal, uh, but nothing, I am. No, nothing is, there are no limits here. Okay. All right. Perfect. I'm just so curious about, um, how much of you is lean beef versus mm -hmm. like beef, beef, like oh. beef, that, yeah. Oh, that's a really good question. Well, you know, a meatball's units of beef measurement might be a little different than yours. So I'm going to tell you in, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you in flesh nuggets. That's what we, uh, that's what we like to do. So it's like a, it's like a 60, 65 lean nuggets versus lean flesh nuggets versus uh, the other amount of, you know, non-lean flesh nuggets. Uh, great question. I love that question. And finally, Rachel. Um, yeah, thanks. Uh, I, I wanted to ask which you prefer, uh, you know, to wind down and relax. Do you like to lay on a soft, cushy, um, you know, bun, uh, like a gyro bun, or do you like to dip in a hot, saucy bath? Of oh, I was hoping you were going to say saucy bath because that's what I like. I like for you to put me in some sauce and throw me on some noodles and I get all in there and I just like to get all up in the noodles. But I like it to be real saucy. All right. So there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Wow. Oh, wow. It is just, I can't believe we have these celebrities here with us tonight, folks. This is so amazing. Oh, we got our next one here. You know this meatball. I promise you, you know these meatballs, fam most famous ones. All right. Next up. Hey, hey everybody. This is me. Wow. You know, you know me. You love me. I got my special hat. All right. Dylan, what's up? What you want to ask me? Take a look at my stats. Would you say you're mostly beef, pork, or chicken? And oh, do you face that's... discrimination as a mixed meat meatball? No, I would say that people love me more. No, I would say... <laughs> I'm sorry. I had, I had something in my throat. I would say that people love me more because of that. Um, and it's really just... it's. It makes me, uh, it gives me, I feel like, more energy than, than other people. And no, I find that people love me more. Great question. Great question. Um, let's go with uh, Robin. Yeah, thank you so much, um, Meet Wad. Um, so um, what's up with Wad? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's really like, it's really like my own uh my own term for the the uh the flesh the flesh that i am i i really just like to be described as a wad um i sort of i am a, a circle but i'm also a wad and so that's i gave myself that moniker mm. Mm. Um, okay you. yeah thank you hannah um just a simple one from me uh -huh. where'd you get that hat Oh, uh, uh, yeah. This is, uh, uh, Frylock. Frylock got me this hat special. For, he was so excited that he's like, how often does a show reach out to celebrity meatballs? And, uh, and I was like, it's a once in a lifetime experience. So he got me this hat special. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, who's up next? Rachel? Um, yeah, thanks so much. I'm just like curious what um, dish like do you personally prefer to be a part of? Are you like an appetizer meat wad? Or are you like a main course meat wad? Or like a dessert wad? I, I think I really stand on my own. Um, unlike the, the meatball before me, uh, I, I really think I don't need to be part of a meal. I think I really stand on my own and I can be a meal just on my own, just dry, just bone dry. Don't put any goop on me. 
Oh, right, thank you very much. Whoa, Meatwad. We had Meatwad here from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That's crazy. I can't believe we got these names. I cannot believe it. This is, now we have an international celebrity here. Here, y'all, we have an international celebrity. This is, this is crazy. Oh, look who we got. We got mm. the, the, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm the meatball from Ikea. Uh, these are my stats. These are all real stats in real time. Uh, now, Dylan, you get to ask me a question. Uh, so now, Hannah and I went to Ikea and were really let down not to meet you a couple months ago. What's your quarantine activity since we can't eat at the cafeteria? Well, I, th I really think what sets me apart from the other meatballs uh, is that I, I, I really like to be creamy all the time. I think none of the other meatballs are going to say that they like to be in a cream-based sauce. And so I've really just been creaming it up here. I've, been, I've just been all kinds of creams. I'll, I, I'll even take skim milk if there's nothing else. But I really just get creamy. And so that's what I do. Uh, thank you very much. That's, that's a really good question. Robin? Um, thanks. Uh, so what, do you have a manual to put you together? Is it, is it hard or? Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yes. We, I was making a joke. <laughs> we like to refer to our recipe as the manual. We do. It's such a, oh, you've been to Ikea. Oh, mm -hmm. you've been to my mm -hmm. house. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so, so great. Uh, okay. Let, uh, Hannah. Oh, um, um, uh, have you, do you, uh, your proportions? Yes. Um, what is it like to be mostly hands and beef? Oh, I would say that it's so good to just be hands and beef um, because if my big hands, they do all the creaming, you see. I did, that's how I cream things. I cream them up with my hands and then I put them on my beef. That's what I do. That's what they, they help with. I really hope I answered your question. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, Rachel? Uh, yeah, favorite piece of furniture. Oh, my favorite piece of furniture. That would be, um, it's a Clorgan. So I'll say it one more time. It's the Clorgan. There are 17 umlauts in it. 17 umlauts. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, there's so many. We got to get through these meatballs. Yeah, Caitlin, for the rest of them, let's just have each team ask one question. That sounds great. That's a really <laughs> good question. Okay, up next, we got everybody's favorite. Hello. I'm the one from that song on top of spaghetti. On top of Richie. You know that one. That's me. I'm mm. that guy. Um, so, team one, ask me a question. Favorite type of noodle? Oh, I like uh, ziti. Team two. Um, I just want to know if you get self-conscious around Thanksgiving, uh, being totally turkey, and honestly. Thank you. Not enough people ask me that. I really do. I feel like I'm judged. I'm judged mm. because they're like, you don't get to be turkey, even though you're turkey. And mm. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, it's so sad. Thank you for yeah, asking me. Of course. Um, those are my stats. Check them out. Okay. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe we get to meet all these meatballs. This is, this is so <laughs> This is so great. Wow. Okay. Almost last but not least, we got. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? You know this flying spaghetti monster? Um, he has two balls. Uh, that's I'm one of them. I'm one of the flying spaghetti monster balls. Uh, team two, please ask me a question. Dill, go for it. Do you often get self-conscious knowing that you're not actually made of meat? Well, that's a really good question. Um, no, I like to own it and live it and be free and uh, be free of all the meats. I feel like it really sets me apart. I'm the only one that's meatless. Keep that in mind. I'm the only one that's meatless. Um, so team one, what you got? Um, favorite place to vacation. Oh, it's probably <laughs> Narnia. 
I like to go to Narnia. I got that wardrobe in my house. Whoa! Who knew that the flying spaghetti monsters balls have that have that wardrobe that goes to Narnia? All right. Last but not least. Whoo boy, we got <laughs> Hey guys, I'm not. I'm the one that Tramp nudges over with his nose to Lady. You know that one. That's me. All right, Team One, ask me a question. Dogs or cats? <laughs> dogs. Specifically, two dogs that that kiss. <laughs> okay, Team Two. Um. So I'm curious. Are you? Do you feel like you play second fiddle to the noodle that everyone kind of remembers from the movie because the two dogs are eating it? That's, I think, what people really remember. I mean, I kind of kind of remember you. No, no offense. Yeah, yeah, this, what you're saying is this one is kind of a stretch. Um, that's, yeah. um, well, I would, yeah, I would say I get overshadowed a lot, but that's okay. I'm just happy to be here. I, but I, I'm just, I'm just really happy I get to shine in this moment. All right, team one and team two. Team, team two first. <laughs> Who's your player? Rachel. Oh, you said team two. Team two first. <laughs> uh, me, yeah? You. Wait, me? Me. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. Okay. Oh, do I pick up the list? Yeah. You gotta yeah, pick, pick a ball. ball. Gotta oh. Pick a, ball. a player's gonna represent you and we're gonna oh. race them. Oh, meet one. Oh, all right. Meet one. one. Yeah, okay. Give us that one. <laughs> okay, and team one. Robin? Um, Lady in the Tramp. Yeah, Lady yeah. in the Tramp. Yeah. Okay. Give her her moment. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Here's the big. Where is it? Um. Oh, okay. Here's the big moment. All right. Okay. So, so Caitlin's gonna race your meatballs, and this is for your wagered points. So this really is for everything. This is for okay. everything, folks. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> These mm -hmm. famous meatballs are about to race. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, by a landslide. By a landslide, it was Meatwad. 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 Rig. 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 Thank you yeah. oh, thanks, so much. Thank you so much. I love you guys. All right. Thank you so much, Caitlin, in the glitter box. That was amazing. Um, for those of you at home, the glitter box will change every week. So we won't be watching meatballs every single week, but I am so happy we got to watch it this week. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Are we ready for our final scores and our who is going to win Glitter Glory? All right. Um, so, yeah, I don't think this is any surprise. They wagered their 17 points. Uh, so... Team, team one, you guys had a valiant effort at 86 points tonight. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but team two, you guys brought it home with 117 points. So congratulations, team two. Do you guys have anything to say? I think our oranges say it all. Oh, pretty happiness. Pretty oh, happy. And, and we can stay together now. Yep. That's true. That was a lot. To be honest, you had a lot riding on this. I see Team One has uh, they used their, their ghost. They ghosted you. Yeah. Ghost. Ghost. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Thank you guys so much. Good game. Good game. Good, good, good game. Good game. Good game. Yay. Um, before we go, we have just some shout outs. First of all, thank you so much to 2MB for hosting us here tonight. And huge, huge thank you to Matt. Um, who did all of our tech tonight. So all the videos you saw, helping us get on and off screen. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, we also just want to shout out 2MB's partner, Three Week Courses. They have a bunch of cool courses. If you're super bored in quarantine, you want to learn something new, they have these super bite-sized Three Week Courses you guys can sign up. Um, it's threeweeks.courses. Um, 2MB also has over 20 shows right now going on all week long. Um, there's so many different ones you guys can choose from if you look at their schedule. If you guys liked Colleen and then Jumanji Jones, who was also Alana tonight, um, you can check out Mind Over Manor on Wednesdays. 
at eight o'clock. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us tonight. This has been Glitty Litter, the show where your shit shines and the cats do not matter. We're Glitter and Friends. We will see you Sunday, December 6th for more glitz, glamour, and glitter glory.